Today we're going to be looking at a tool called XDo Tool. Uh, and basically lets you do some neat things with the mouse and, uh, and keyboard. But today we're going to look at getting the coordinates of your mouse cursor and uh, doing some fun stuff with it. So basically we're going to use XDo Tool, which if it's not installed, it's in your repository. So go ahead and install it. And we're going to use the command get mouse location. A in there. And if I hit enter now, we get an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and the screen we're on. So if I run that same command, but I move my cursor up and to the left, you can see the numbers get smaller. The X is your left and right, and your Y is your up and down. So if I move my cursor all the way to the left, and I run that command, you can see X is zero. If I move my cursor all the way to the top of the screen and run that command, you can see Y is zero. And screen is just if you have more than one screen, you can figure out what screen your cursor is on. Um, but we're going to take that command and I'm going to create a script. We'll call it vim mymouse.sh. And we are going to create a bash script. So bin bash at the top here. And uh, we're going to create a while loop. So we'll say while one. So this is while true. So this basically is going to loop until we kill the command. And then we'll put our do and done. I like to do that before I forget. And we'll add our command do tool get mouse location. We will now save that script. We will change the mode to make it executable. So plus X and we'll say my mouse dot sh and we will run that. And you can see it's looping and you can see the coordinates changing as I move my cursor around. Let's clean it up a little bit more though. I use control C to kill that. Go back into my script here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, I'm gonna take that and pipe it into sed. And we're gonna use sed substitute here. I'm not gonna go into the details too much, but we're going to say sed substitute and inside single quotes, we're substituting basically to remove the X colon, the Y colon, the screen colon, and the screen number. So this is the command right here. If you need it, I will uh, put a link to this script, the final script in the description so you can download and look at it. And uh, we'll save that, we'll run it again, and this time we get the same thing but with just the number output. We don't have the X, the Y or the screen. We just have the coordinates separated by a comma and a space. So now let's do something useful with that. We'll go control C to kill that. We'll go back into our script here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that output into a variable. I'll just make a variable called M for mouse. And we're going to put that into the little symbols that I once again can never remember the name of. Uh, they are on the same key as the tildale, which is on the top row, the number row of your keyboard, right next to the one. Uh, it looks like a single quote. Anyway, put the command within those, and so the variable will become the output of that command. And then we'll create an if-then statement, and we'll say if, and in parentheses we'll say m equals zero comma, whoops, comma space zero, Close your quotations, close your brackets, we'll say then, and we'll close our then statement with the backwards if, and at this point we can put whatever command we want in here. And basically what we're saying is, if my mouse cursor is at 0, 0, which is the top left of my screen, then run this command. And we'll just say echo top left. So. We'll run the command now. You can see nothing's happening. I move my cursor up to the top left and it starts printing top left. Now what's great about this is that you can create your own little mouse gestures in a way that instead of just echo, you can input a, a application name in there and it will start up that application when you go up to the top screen, uh, top left corner of the screen. So you can run your own commands with this script just by doing certain mouse gestures like that. So play around with that. I'll upload this script to my site and put the link in the description so you can download and see everything, especially the said part, uh, which if you're not used to said, it may be a little confusing. But like I said, basically we're taking X colon, Y colon, 
and scree colon and the number after that and we're basically just removing it anything that's in there so uh thank you for watching visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this hope you find this uh tool useful once again it's xdo tool i'm assuming is how you say that so have a great day and thank you for watching